Welcome back everybody to the channel, my name is Stefan and this week we are practicing pan sauces. The recipe of the week is the pepper steak, but we're going to do the French style pepper steak with that je ne sais quoi into it. And if you've been to Paris in a bistro, you will know that the pepper steaks there, they just seems to, to taste different. Okay, so what is the secret? And this is exactly what I'm going to reveal in that video. So if you want to know all the secrets about this pepper steak and the sauce, keep watching. So let's discover what's the secret of this French style pepper steak. So first off, it all resides in the ingredients. Uh, so good quality ingredients and you're going to have some nice eggs. This is a porterhouse. And it is also a set of very specific ingredients is always used if you do it by the book in France. Huh? So you're going to find some shallots, some butter, there is cream, brown stock, white wine, and that taste that you have most of the time is you don't know what that is. This is the intonation of cognac. This is the secret. A lot of time when you have this in, it changes absolutely everything. For the rest, it is just a matter of having your mise en place ready, all the ingredients measure, they're all listed in the video description, and then you can get started. Now you'll be interested to know perhaps that uh, in some good restaurants and hotels in France, the pepper steak is actually made by the maître d' by the waiter in front of you. The steaks are pre-cooked in the kitchen, they're brought to the waiter, and he's got all these ingredients at the ready, and he's making this in front of you. And he's finishing to cook the steak and make the sauce. Just to tell you, it is really not difficult. And now let's start the demonstration. Now let's start the recipe by seasoning the steak. Now before we start, uh, I'm using porterhouse, but you can use any prime cut of beef. Also make sure you take your steaks out of the fridge at least 15 minutes before. This is to avoid cold spots on your meat that may prevent the even cooking of your steaks. Okay, that's, the, that's one of the things you need to know. For the seasoning, uh, we're going to put a little bit of salt. Uh, I'm doing one side. And the pepper, it's up to you. So if you want something heavy on pepper taste, you're going to add plenty of pepper. If you want something light, uh, you uh, put less. The one thing you can do, that's usually done in bistros, that you're going to season the steaks like that, of course on each side, and you're going to leave them sitting there for 10 minutes so that the pepper taste goes a little bit into the meat. Okay? Hold on, so my steaks are here, as you can see they look nice, huh? plenty of pepper on here. What's next? The next thing is to make sure you've got all of your mise en place ready for the steaks. Uh, so when I'm talking about this maître d'eau, that waiter that's making this in front of you, he's got a little table like this called a guéridon. Uh, and you have here some wine. I've got here the cognac. I've got my cream. I've got a brown reduced uh, brown stock. I've got some butter and the thinly diced shallots. Why do we have this? Because these types of cooking in front is called cooking à la minute. Uh, préparé à la minute, made to order, meaning when you go into a bistro, nothing is made before. You order it, the steak is cooked, and as soon as it's cooked, it's reserved, kept warm for a few minutes, and you basically have three to five minutes maximum to create your sauce, and then it is served, okay? So it is super important that you have everything ready before you start cooking the steaks, all right? And now let's move to the stove. And now let's start. So the quality of the pan, the frying pan you use uh, is really important. I'm using a Moviel 24 centimeters M cook. Uh, it, it performs really well. And all what you need here is a medium heat. Okay, so for the steaks, uh, when it's hot, I'm just gonna put this in here. And on a medium heat, I'm gonna gently leave this to color. And that's the beauty of that pan, that you don't need to have a very high heat to get that nice searing effect. Now the other thing we tend to do at home a lot is anytime you put something in a pan is to immediately turn the meat over or look how it looks like under. Do not do this at all with these types of pan. And I'm gonna cook these three minutes on each side and I'm just gonna leave them there and wait until they detach from themselves. If you try to move them around, first you're gonna have that boiling effect and it's not gonna be seared enough and the meat's gonna kind of uh, maybe ripped apart. Huh? So it's very important not to touch your meat. Just count two and a half, three minutes per side and you'll see we're gonna get a nice result. All right, so I've got three minutes on one side and I'm using a really kind of, you know, look at this, a rather low heat. Huh? If you look at my heat, look at that. It's not, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not at all heavy, 
but look at this. I really favor a kind of slow cooking process. And because this pan performs really well, you get that kind of effect without using a massive heat. So I'm going to put another three minutes on here. And it's best to take your time with these things. You know, let the juices come into the pan, get some color, don't rush it. It's very important for this cup of steak. All right, so my meat is done. The first thing we're going to do here is a little deglazing with the cognac. And you don't need to do a flambe. You can, if you want, like this, but you don't have to. Don't have your exhaust fan on. Okay, as soon as this is reduced, we're gonna turn the heat to low and I'm gonna reserve my meat immediately on the tray and put it in the oven. And now we're ready to make the sauce. So this is the race. We start with the butter. Favor just uh, low to medium heat. We're gonna melt this and immediately we're gonna add our shallots in. Butter is melted. We're gonna start by adding a little layering of flavor. The residual cognac mixed with the shallots and the butter. Still low heat for now, we're not burning the shallots, they burn very quickly. So just a few seconds, you know, maybe like 5 or 10 seconds, and that's gonna be it. Moving on, we've got the white wine. Uh, the same thing here, and this is the deglazing process. We can now raise the heat, as you can see. You see my pan, how it's clean? And get that coloring, you see the coloring of, of sauce, and here you're gonna want to reduce your wine because it's gonna kill the acidity. That's very important. We're gonna almost reduce it to a dry state. Okay, so look at this. Uh, it took me like 20, 30 seconds. And now the star of the show, this is where the taste comes from. This is the stock. Uh, 50 mil or 100 mil is up to you. Uh, and a high heat. And we're gonna reduce this again uh, to get that nice kind of syrupy sauce consistency. All right, so two minutes, two and a half minutes later, look at this. Uh, there's not much left, and this is now when you're gonna be adding a little bit of cream. The cream is up to you, really, on how much you want, if you want something really brown. And keep in mind that you're not gonna really have that pepper taste in the sauce right now. The pepper resides on the steak. Uh, and we're putting the steak back in the pan very, very briefly at the end, and that's gonna add the pepper intonation. But you see the color of the sauce, so how do you want your sauce? Do you want it really brown? Or do you want more sauce, maybe a bit thinner like this? It's up to you. And now we're gonna reduce this again for last one to two minutes maximum and we will be done. And that's it, we're all done. Look at my sauce, huh? what we've got. If I move my spoon, we've got a pan that has been totally cleaned of its juices. You see it's not burned and it's totally clean. All the juices and taste are transferred into a sauce. I'm turning my heat off and I'm gonna put my steak in and we're gonna serve. And now the final touch, of course, you've got your steaks. All the meat juices in. I may have left them a little bit long, so they might be a little bit overcooked there. And we're just gonna turn them around. I know a lot of people don't like to have this in the sauce, but this is the way it's done in France. So we coat the steaks lightly like this, just to warm them up. And then we're gonna serve this on a plate with the sauce on top. That's it. And we're gonna have some pepper steak. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've done. The rush is over. Uh, I can finally relax. I know the, uh, it was like uh, panic on board when you make the sauce because it's all instant. You have to go very fast. But this is the sauce and this is how it's served in France. So what are we going to do? Uh, you can put more cream if you want or less cream. This is the consistency I've got now. Uh, it's, it's nice semi syrupy. You can cover your meats like this and you can serve this on the plate. Uh, so I'm going to put this on the plate and we're going to dig in. I might have overcooked slightly the meat here, but not a big deal. And here it is. Huh? So I've put this on the plate here. And uh, once in here, it's up to you. You can serve uh, you know, the sauce on the side, but I just like to pour it over. It's, it's, it's my French way of doing things. Uh, so how much sauce do we want? Oh, that will go beautifully with, uh, imagine with bread. That's going to be beautiful. And you can kind of move the sauce around here. Okay, a little bit more presentable. So first thing, and we're gonna taste this. And look at it. These are the little shallots here, uh, the grains of pepper, uh, and that that beautiful sauce. That, um, I can't wait to taste. It's an explosion of flavor. Oh, you know what? That technique never disappoints. And actually, you know what? The pepper in there, really, when you bathe the steaks, it really adds a big punch of pepper at the you know at the last minute. Totally, totally beautiful. So. I think my steak might be a little bit um, overcooked there, but I'm just gonna cut a little piece on the side. I think there's a bit of fat here. So let me take some nice bits. I'm not gonna, let's look at the meat. Now you see, 
the color. It's not too bad, not too bad. I like it a bit more rare, but let me tell you that. Wave the sauce. Mmm. Wow. Oh, yeah, it is. You know, it doesn't get old. Huh? It doesn't matter what we do with this, it really does not get old. Now, let me show you what I do really when I'm done eating this as well. Now, this, my friends, is what I call the pêche mignon. You know, it's my little thing that I love to do when I'm done eating, or even while I'm eating, just eating a piece of baguette. And you're gonna, you know, clean your plates like that at the end when it's done. You clean the plate with bread. And this is one of the use of bread. Um, that was really good. But that's it in a nutshell. That completes the tutorial on how to make that French style pepper steak. So I would be curious to hear from you in the comment section. What did you think? about its recipe and how does it compare to maybe the the way it's done in your country because this is kind of a worldwide recipe now before i go let me give you some little hint about the recipe the cooking of the meats can vary i did three minutes on each side you can do two minutes or less depending on how you want the meat and the cognac you can put less or more it's up to you huh, to have more that cognac intonation and the cream at the end is going to make your sauce thinner and clearer so if you want a lighter color to your sauce add more cream if you want a darker color use less cream that's all the technical details and as always if you have any questions use the comment section uh, in this video if you want to share your pictures on instagram use the hashtag french cook academy you can follow me on facebook and patreon and if you want to learn all about the technical stuff of french cooking uh, head for our online cooking school i put all the details in the video description as for me i see you all next week for another french cooking video take care all bye bye